Hey, so a couple years back, I created a League of Legends picks and bands overlay that allowed you to add a small overlay to your stream that showed the current picks and bands happening in the game client in a much nicer way, closely resembling the one from the LSDK back then. Now, with this, I made two mistakes. The first of all, first one was to not provide a tutorial, so most people were not able to get it working. And second of all, to add a new champion, you had to go down into the config files and edit manually, which is absolutely horrible. So now I have created a system where it will automatically download the last six patches and you can select which one you want to use. So let's get going. We start by going to this website, insanecane.visualstudio.com, lightweight with a typo overlay, where we will go to this one, files. And under here, you can find two archives. It doesn't matter which one you use. And in the other folders, you can find the source code if you need to use that or want to change it. You can change most stuff in the web interface itself, so it's not that important. But if you want to see how it's done, you can check in there. So let's download release.zip. No, oh, it's too big for him, it's fine, let's download. All right. Yeah, it's a variation copy, <laughs> like everyone has. So we press release, extract to. The button wants to and extract it to my download folder. All right. We got the release again, publish, and in there you have a bunch of files. If you want to change something in the back end, you can do so under globalstate.json, but hopefully you will not have to deal with that anymore. So to start the program, we just, first of all, you need to open leak. That's very important. It does work if you open it later, but this way is safer. So open leak, login. Then you open the LWO server.exe. It will take a while to start. So now there's just two things left to do. First, we need to test if everything's working. And second, we need to actually put our overlay into OBS. So let's see if it works first. To do that, we will go to two URLs. We have localhost colon 9345. This port may have changed if you did that manually. I don't know. And then we have, but normally it's this one. Then we have LOL pixel and plans overlay.html. Now, the overlay right now is just white because there's no picks and bands going on. It will automatically show things when it's ready. The second URL is the admin interface. Refreshes, yeah, perfect. And here you can set some things. First, you can set the team name. Team A and Team B. Let's Put the score to one three. Here you can also put in whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. Game text. Here you can put the patch number, for example, or the event you're playing, or whatever you like. In this box, you can select the patch. Normally, you just want to select the newest one here. It will automatically select the newest one on first launch, but this may change later, so you may have to change it to the one you want. In this color code, you can change the team color. Let's make it more red. Under here, you could, for example, put your own team logo, if you wanted that. To do this, you have to change the file name here and put it in the same folder as the team left of PNG is which is under assets. So that's about all we can set here. 
let's test if it actually works. Open the raw client, create a custom game for now. Very important bots. It does work for bot camps as well, but it's not as pretty, of course, because the pick and ban structure isn't very interactive. Start. And as soon as the pick and ban phase starts, this overlay will react and nicely start to show up. Let's ban. So it starts red to indicate team is banning. Then it will go to a low opacity version. And as soon as you press the ban button, it should go full opacity and to the next ban. Let's ban Ash and Alistar. Now the bands go to the bottom and we see the picks. Ari. Now don't be confused when the images take a second the first time, because it, they will need to be downloaded from the internet, from the internet, and after that it will be cached and be instantaneous, like here. Yeah, so now we have it working. That's good. The last step we have to do is to actually put it into our OBS. To do so, we copy this URL, open our OBS, and there we use a browser source, put the URL, 1080p is the usual, is the resolution of the overlay. I like to put a custom frame rate, but this may not be necessary. We don't need any special CSS. So now that we have it set up in OBS, we can test it out. Let me disable the display capture and start a new pick and ban. I will, I think, join the ranked game and then dodge. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> start a leak. All right, we got into a game. Now, one of the cool parts is that you can go into the app interface while this is running and change, and change things. Let me just change the team name, for example, to tier four, or change the color to something, something else, black or blue, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, it will automatically determine the kick and ban structure for most games, that should work. Maybe some special game on stone work. Uh, who do we ban? It doesn't really matter. Something like that. Come on, hurry, Benjasu! I want it! Ah. <laughs> the bans will go down. Some of us, or one of us, didn't ban. And now it will start the pick and ban phase. Some of them was taking a long time. I mean, they banned Misfortune, I would have had to dodge anyway. <laughs> With the first few times, the images might not load instantaneously, like I told you. Uh, but once you stack it the second time, it will be instantaneous, like you can see. Let's turn it. Uh, what we select doesn't matter. Last two picks by the enemy team. And now the game would start, but I don't want to. And then the picks and bands are over. <laughs> 